Hey guys, my name is Kenna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a facial massage kind of demonstration. I'm going to show you guys how I do facial massage. Um, it is a very just kind of intuitive thing and whatever feels good on your face, that's what you should be doing. But these are a few techniques that I use. Um, sometimes I do them all, sometimes I just do a few. So if you are interested in learning about how I do a face massage to kind of lift the face and for some anti-aging benefits, then just keep watching. Okay, before we get started, I do have a bit of an exciting announcement. So if you are in the Toronto area and you're watching this actually when I upload it, so today is Wednesday the 20th of November. Um, so from the 21st through December 8th, Altelis Beauty is going to have a holiday market booth at Stacked in Toronto. So it's York and Bathurst. And I'm gonna have a bunch of times where I'm there, so if you are from the Toronto area, I'd love if you could come out and we can just meet and chat and hang out because it's just gonna be really fun. Um, that whole market has like a bunch of different vendors, everything from food to cool shops, like I think they have like a custom sneaker thing and just a bunch of really interesting things. Um, there's like some in-house artists that do demos and you can purchase their art, but it's just gonna be a really fun event and I'm gonna be there and I would love to meet some of you guys. So if you are in the area and you're around uh, this weekend, I'm gonna be there. Um, so Thursday, November 22nd, I'll be there from 5 p.m. in the evening onward. And then this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm gonna be there from 12 to two. So if you are in the area, I would love again to meet you. And yeah, I just wanted to mention that because we just kind of found out that we're doing it and it's gonna be a really fun event. And I'm gonna have all the information in the description box below as well if you follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting stories of like exactly when I'm there over the next couple of weeks because I'm not gonna be there the whole time, but I am gonna pop in there when I can. And yeah, if you're in the area, I would just really love to meet you in person. So I just really wanted to mention that real quick. Okay, now let's get on to the juicy bits of the video. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I do facial massage and I just wanna mention a couple things to get started, kind of what you should be using to do a facial massage. Um, you want something that has a lot of slip to it. So you don't wanna use a moisturizer, you more so wanna use like a balm or a serum, um, like a facial oil serum. I really like using oils on the face and for this purpose you really don't need to use like an expensive oil. I actually recommend you just go out to like the grocery store, natural health food store and get something like an avocado oil or hemp seed oil. Something that is a little bit thicker of an oil and has a lot of slip. There is drier oils such as like jojoba and um, grapeseed oil but they do tend to absorb into the skin really quickly and they're not so good for this purpose. I mean you just kind of have to keep really applying it if you're using one of those dry Dryer oils. So for this purpose specifically, because you want your skin to stay oily for as long as possible, um, I definitely recommend using one of those kind of just thicker oils such as um, hemp seed oil and avocado oil. Again, these are not going to clog your pores, they're non-commodogenic, and when I say heavier oil, don't think that it's going to clog your pores. It's just a little bit thicker in how it sits on the skin and it's better for massage essentially. So facial massage is a very kind of personal thing and everyone likes to do it a little bit differently. There is a ton of other YouTube videos. Uh, Lisa Eldridge has a really good one. And then there's a couple of like dermatologists and estheticians that have good ones as well. Um, my facial massage is really just focusing on um, kind of lymphatic drainage as well as lifting the skin and releasing tension from the face. I'm someone that holds my tension a lot in my shoulders so I tend to have a lot of tension here up in my forehead so I really work on my forehead with a bunch of different techniques to release that tension. I also hold a lot of tension in my jawline so I do a lot of work with my jaw as well. And then I, because I have pretty puffy eyes and bags under my eyes I do a lot of eye work as well. So. Uh, my facial massage, I would say, is just about releasing tension, kind of lifting the face, and um, it does have some anti-aging benefits as well. So normally, I would not use um, like my Altelis Beauty Serum to do a facial massage just because it is a very kind of nutrient-rich and something that is um, expensive and, you know, you want a little to go a long way. 
However, right now I have like this huge lab sample of the serum, so I am going to use it today for facial massage. It's a base of coconut oil, it has vitamin C in there as an antioxidant, and then the breadfruit extract. But again, I recommend using just kind of like a really basic, cheaper vegetable oil that um, you're you're not gonna be afraid to use a lot of it. You don't wanna use this sparingly because you want to have so much slip and glide on your face. You never wanna be tugging or pulling at your skin. So that being said, um, you can't really do anything wrong with a facial massage. Like if it feels good, it's probably doing benefit to your skin and has some type of kind of anti-aging or lifting benefit. Um, but that being said, you'd never want to really like drag down on your skin and there's a couple areas that you don't want to like pull in certain directions. So as we get to that, I'll just mention it. Um, also when you're doing facial massage, it can get kind of messy. So if you want to protect your hairline, uh, you can put in like a headband or um, I also recommend like having something that is kind of open on the chest because it is nice to bring product down here so either wear a towel or you know just um, a tank top that you don't mind if it gets a little bit of oil on it so the best time to do facial massage really is in the morning but i know that's not really realistic um, i will call out the couple of actions that are really beneficial in the morning to kind of depuff around the eye area but mostly when i do facial massage it's at night and i'll just put on netflix and i'll sit there for like honestly sometimes like 40 minutes just doing different things to my face um, this is also how I've really um, found getting blackouts, oh my gosh, not blackouts, <laughs> getting out blackheads can be really good, especially on the nose, like if you just sit there literally for 20 minutes massaging the skin um, very gently, it really does start to dissolve and lift clogged pores. So if you do tend to have blackheads and clogged pores, this is a really great technique to really kind of work those out of the skin in a very soft and gentle way. All right, let's just get into it. So I am going to just put some oil on and I'm using quite a bit. I mean, I'll show you how oily I got my face, but the first thing I do is just kind of oil up and the neck as well. And this is really important so that you don't um, cause any pulling or tugging on the face. So you want to have a very thick layer of the oil all over your face. I actually don't recommend using an oil that has essential oils in it for this because as you'll see I do get pretty close to the eye area and if you just get normal oil in your eyes like it's not a big deal. Um, actually it's a weird feeling having oil in your eyes but it's not harmful in any way but if you get essential oils in your eyes that's when it can become um, a little bit more dangerous and be irritating to the eye. So I would just avoid any serum or oil that has essential oils in it for this purpose okay so i'm just getting my face all nice and slimy and i like to start just kind of with that application um with that application motion so i'm just doing upward circles on the skin all over just starting to kind of stimulate that blood flow and work the oil into my face okay so the first motion that I'm going to show you is this upward kind of it's like big circles but um, it's targeted so you can do this on your cheeks you can do this kind of on the front of your face as well you can do this on your chin and the other side and I'm not pressing hard I know you can see my skin moving but I'm not being aggressive with it I'm really just gently doing these upward strokes starting to warm the face up you might notice your face gets a little bit red um, you don't want your face to get really red that means you're pressing too hard but as you do stimulate blood flow um, of course you're and I'm the kind of person that if you just keep going like this, like I'm going to get red because I have really sensitive skin. So that's all that's kind of going on right there. So again, always just going in like this nice upward motion. And then, okay, I always do like to do a little bit of a massage on the nose. Um, I can get pretty clogged pores in here, like right there, just from makeup and stuff. So it's nice to give your nose a little... <laughs> a little rub 
and I'm not gonna cut this or speed it up because I want you guys to see really how long and gentle uh, this whole process can be and it is really intuitive so I don't <laughs> it's weird to explain it because I don't usually really think about what I'm doing I also never talk while I'm doing this so my face is moving and being more stressed out than it normally is Another really nice area to do circles in is the temples. Yeah, like that's nice. <laughs> and you honestly might find um, that you can feel stuff kind of coming out of your face that sounds really gross, but um, like especially on the nose and stuff, after doing this for a while, you can almost feel stuff just starting to dissolve and um, come out of your skin. So this is usually how I start. Around the mouth. It's nice to work the smile lines. Okay, the second motion I'm gonna show you guys is it looks kind of funny, but it's just this like really gentle tapping. So I'm gently tapping and I'm sweeping my hands out. I start at the forehead. And this helps with lymphatic drainage. Um, you can also do kind of like light feathering strokes like this. But for me, the tapping I find really effective. And I can feel the tension start to leave my face. And I like to do this under the eyes, outward, on the sinuses. The other thing is try and like not clench your jaw. Try and have like a relaxed jaw. I'm not gonna be able to do that in this video because I will be talking. But again, just really light tapping with that kind of outward motion. Now that my face is kind of stimulated and warm, I'm going to leave it for a sec and I am going to go to the neck. So we're going to start by, I usually use my opposite hand just because it feels a bit more natural. I'm going to just start by kind of, so this is definitely lymphatic drainage here. I'm going under the chin and going down, but I'm not tugging on my skin. You can see that my neck skin is actually not being tugged down at all and that's because I have so much oil on my face that my hand is just easily gliding across. So this is really nice, you can even bring it down. Some circular motions, and I like to bring it down every once in a while. And again, if something feels really good, like you can just keep doing it. Um, so for me, w when I focus on the jaw and the eye area, I would do that for probably like five minutes. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just trying to show you techniques, so I'm just gonna do it a few times and then move on. So here you don't want to tug on the skin at all, but I am doing a little bit of drainage down the front of my neck, but I'm not pressing hard. And the reason why you don't like, you're supposed to apply moisturizer upward, yeah, of course, but for this purpose of massage where we're trying to actually release tension and release, um, like, lim cause lymphatic drainage and everything, you want the lymph nodes to go down. So be gentle. You don't want to tug at your skin, but I am doing the front of the neck. So you go under the chin and down, and I'm using this part of my finger. And then it is nice to kind of pull, it's so hard with necklaces, but it's nice to pull this outward as well. Like the space below your collar, but like above your collarbone here. And this is a like lymph node area. So you can do light tapping here to kind of stimulate the lymph, but I really do like kind of pulling this out. Man, it is hard with necklaces though. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to work my jaw a little bit. So I'm using this part of my finger here, and I'm going from the middle 
on that bone up to my ears and then down my neck and you could do this like 10 to 20 times And you want it to be right on, right on the bone, up and then down, right under that bone, up, down. Sometimes you can feel like there's an area um, that has like a lot of tension and you can really feel those knots like being rolled out. Like for me, I definitely can. So I would probably keep doing this until I feel the tension really start to go away. And again, it's important to have your jaw relaxed. Something else that you can do that's really nice is kind of pull this skin, like I'm kind of just pinching and pulling the, the skin away from the bone and away from the muscle and work your way up. You don't want to pull your skin too hard, but just kind of releasing some tension there. And it is nice to kind of roll that all out down the side of your neck. Okay, now I'm going to work my cheekbones a little bit. So I like to do kind of a pressing motion upward. And then I'll go in and I will do the, a similar thing using this part of my finger from basically under my lip, work myself up to the temples. And then you can go more under your nose kind of starting with your mouth and go under the cheekbone and up. And sometimes it's nice to stay there and just kind of wiggle it out. And then I'll kind of repeat. So that one's really nice. And then, okay, now we're gonna move on to the eye area. So what I don't recommend doing with the eyes is ever going in a circle motion outward. Yeah, <laughs> I had to think about that for a sec. So you don't really wanna go this way. You more so want to go this way. Cause when you go this way, you're kind of tugging your skin out and we want to really just be focused on um, l loosening up that area without tugging on it. So these circles are really nice to do. And this is one that I recommend doing in the morning to get rid of um, like under eye bags. You can use your um, ring finger or honestly, if you're light enough, you can use this finger. It really just depends. Um, I kind of alternate and I don't I just don't think about it too much, to be honest. So I'll do this for a while. And you do want to get, this is why I say don't use essential oils because you're getting really close to your eye. Like I'm following it, I'm following it all the way in here and out, all the way in there and out. And you're really, you can feel your eye socket. That's kind of the bone that you're working on. And this one I do find really helps with, um, yeah, just puffiness in the morning. But because there's so much oil on my face, my hand, it glides so easily. There's no pulling, there's no tugging, and that's what's most important here, not to be pulling and tugging at your eye area. But as you can see, when I go up to my brow, I do apply a bit more pressure, and I do kind of lift the brow. So gentle down here, but I do apply a little bit more pressure 
when I go up there. Just because a little bit of lifting action. So that one's really nice. Next, I'm going to show you guys um, some of the pressure points that I like to use on my face that I find really, really helps with um, just like a lot of different drainage and everything. So I'm again going to go like bottom to the top here. So the first one is just really simple. It's your chin. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to talk while I do this one because it's just really difficult. But right here, just press for about 30 seconds. Then I'll move it to, if you go right down from your mouth, there. Next, I'm going to the very bottom of my jaw here, and I'm not pressing under the bone, but like directly on that bone. Now I'm doing kind of right here, like right where your earlobe is, right there, just pressing. And if you want, you can wiggle a little bit. It feels pretty nice. Okay, next I do here on my lip. So right just in like that crevice of your lip. Then I do like to do the corners of the mouth. When you do the corners of the mouth, definitely don't pull down. If anything, you're going to push up a little bit. And then I move out to, you can feel the bottom of your cheekbones there. So I push on, press on the bottom of my cheekbones. And then we can pull it to the top of your cheekbones. Now this one is so good, especially if you're congested or have a cold. So right kind of um, just beside your nose, kind of where like the inner part of your iris is. And you're just going to press. And then I'll go to kind of the outside of the eye and down. And then to the temples. And this one's really nice to kind of wiggle it out. Okay, next we're going to do the top of the eye area. So you can do the bet right between your eyes right here. And you can use two fingers or one. It doesn't really matter. Next, I'll go very middle of the forehead here. And then very top of the forehead. This is where, if you're worried about your hair getting greasy, you might want to wear a headband because it's like, you want it to be pretty much right in your hairline. Okay, now we're going to go arch of the brow. Or just above arch of the brow, really. And again, middle there. And then in the hairline. And I'm not holding this as long as I normally would because I'm just trying to get through all the things that I want to tell you guys. Next, we're going to go to the bottom of the brow. And then out to the hairline. So this is it's not your temple, it's actually but above your temple. And 
Okay, this is the point generally where either I'll go in to any area that I think needs a little bit more work. So sometimes if I've got clogged pores here under my lip in my chin area, I'll just really like work that gently for a while, just doing like circular motions, not tugging on my skin. It's actually more effective to kind of cleanse the pores with a very, very light touch than from like drilling it into your face. So I'm doing like the softest motions possible. Or if I have clogged pores on my nose, this is where I would like go in and just massage the nose. If you need to add more oil to your face, if it's getting a little bit soaked in, then do that now. So just massaging. And you can, you, it's weird, you can like really feel stuff come out of your face. And this is probably my biggest technique for blackheads. Um, I've just found they seem to kind of dissolve and go away. Um, the last few things that I really like to do with a massage is just a, this is pure like lymphatic drainage stuff. So you are doing um, like this kind of opening motion and it's super light. Like you're not actually even um, like I would say this is like pushing on your skin. You are like barely touching and you're going from the middle outwards. And then I like to do that across the sinuses as well, like outwards like this. This is similar to what I was doing in the beginning like this, but it's just like feather like strokes. And then you can do that also in the chin area. Generally what I'll do, um, if I am going to shower, I will do more stuff like back into like behind my ears. So I'll do some massaging here and then I'll bring it all the way back into kind of my hairline. I don't, I just showered so I don't want to get my hair too oily right now, but it is nice to take it behind your head and do some work in the back of the neck here. Um, but it can make your hair a little bit greasy, so just it's a good thing to do before you shower. So because I, I don't like to leave kind of this huge thick layer of oil on my face, I mean sometimes I actually do, sometimes you know if I um, just <laughs> am lazy or whatever, I'll just go to bed like this. I haven't had issues with leaving this much oil on my face. Generally though, it just you know, you get oil on everything if your face is this oily, so what I'll do is I'll just take a warm cloth. I will dab my face off um, to remove the excess oil. I usually do apply a little bit more oil, but a very controlled amount of oil, like I mean the, like a facial oil serum, and then I'll just moisturize like normal. I think for today though, just because I'm chilling at home and my skin is feeling a little dry, I am just going to leave this on and let it just soak in the rest of that oil. Alright you guys, so that is my personal uh, facial massage for kind of facelift benefits, anti-aging benefits. Um, I definitely do notice a difference in my face when I do this regularly. I probably only end up doing it a couple times a week just out of pure laziness, to be honest, but I wish I did it every single day because I do notice a difference, um, an immediate difference and also just a, no a difference the next day, especially as far as um, my jawline and also like under eye bags and stuff. But it is, you know, it's a very tried and true method that is free for you to do at home and it does not have to be expensive. You don't have to use expensive products to do this. Like I said before, just a basic vegetable oil that has a lot of slip and glide so that you're not tugging on your skin. Um, there's really no wrong way to massage your face. If it feels good, then it is probably good. Just avoid any downward motions on your face. Um, but again, on your neck, it is okay to do some downward motions just for that lymphatic drainage, but we're not tugging, we're not pulling. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. I do put out videos every single week. And if you have any questions or video recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Kenna Whitnell. And yeah, just send me a DM on there. Honestly, I really needed this today. So I'm glad I made this video because I needed to just kind of sit down and do some self-care and self-love. And I just spent 30 minutes massaging my face and now I can feel the tension um, kind of 
I, because I was talking, it obviously didn't work as well, but I can definitely just feel a little less uh, tense in my jawline and in my forehead. So I hope that you take the time to do a facial massage for yourself. You definitely won't regret it, and it's just an easy, free, fun skincare thing to do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.